picked out my grave His plan had moved forward to put me away I drifted so far, would anyone care that I'd soon be lost? I knew my destruction was a matter of time But Jesus appeared and said, this one is mine Now I'm safe from all harm For he walked through the storm when he came looking for me Well, hello, friends, and welcome to Addiction Free. I'm your host, Evangelist Candy Rose. And Alicia, I am so excited to be here at your conference. Could you want to just tell them a little bit? I would love to. This is the Be Beautiful Conference. It's with the For Such a Time as This tour with Roxanne Potter Ministries, and she travels the nation bringing conferences to you. It's a free three-day conference with such speakers as Bishop Ron Webb, Susan Norton, Mike I Collier. Ooh, it's pa- fabulous. Ooh. And so I invite you to go to RoxannePotterMinistries.com and check out what she's doing and where she's going to be next because you want to be part of this. We have experienced healing, deliverance, uh, total freedom, salvation. Awesome. Well, thank you, and I'm glad I get to be here, and I'm going to get to film a couple of the uh, local faith-based recovery ministries. So thank you, Alicia. Hi, my name is Caleb Long, and this is my wife, Katie Long. And I would just like to speak about a little bit about the destruction uh, that Satan provides through drug usage and addiction. You know, um, I fell victim to Satan's tricks with, with the addiction of drugs many, many times. And, and, and I've had to suffer because of it. I've been shot twice, robbed, left for dead, served four and a half years in prison. And, you know, through all that, you know, I, I, until I realized that I had to put my strength in God, I, you know, I had no success in life. I, I didn't have a job even until I was 31 years old. And every job that I've had since then, not only have I excelled in, but I've made a career out of. You know, so when I turned my life over to the Lord, the Lord has provided all my needs. And, and with that being said, I, I do highly advise, if, if you haven't found God, please do seek him. Um, I spent two years in Shalom Rehab, and um, or I graduated two years ago from Shalom Rehab. I was addicted to methamphetamines and just bad choices. I had lost my uh, nine-year-old daughter custody of her. Um, I have gained that back since. Um, I had lost a baby after I graduated Shalom, but I kept my head up and kept trudging along. Um, my marriage fell into shambles then. I actually filed for divorce, and God didn't allow that to go through and brought brought my husband back in so and not only that um I'm pregnant again due in two months and that's I just give God all the glory for that each and every day well friends I'm with Patience Breakbill and you know I used to work for Potter's Clay three and a half years I was a manager of the Potter's Clay Thrift Store and I get to interview some people from uh their students from Potter's Clay today my name's Kristen Smith um, and I just want to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I've struggled with crystal methamphetamine, the addiction, since 2002. Um, I got clean um, eight years ago, stayed clean for seven years, uh, worked in the ministry. Um, uh, Cross Life is where I got clean at the first time. And through my path um, that I've been down, God brought me to Potter's Clay. I was broken, abused, abandoned. Um, God has restored my family 100%. Um, my bottom for me was when my parents took guardianship of my kids uh, because I wasn't able to be the mother that I could be for my kids, and they didn't want them to see the addiction I was in. And since coming into Potter's Clay, um, I've been there 10 months now. He has restored to me 100% what I've lost. Um, I've um, got my kids back in my life. I have my kid every weekend. I am a graduate of Potter's Clay, um, and I stand witness to uh, the power of Christ and that every chain and every addiction can be broke. Um, All you have to do is just trust in God and believe Him. So I'm thankful today that I am where I am today and that God's bringing me through um, everything that I have been through. And I just want to say that if you want help, you can reach out to Potter's Clay. Um, They... They saved me along with God. They brought me to where I needed to be, and it's a great place. 
So uh, if y'all need any help, you women out there, please notify Potter's Clay, and we'll be seeing you there. Hi, my name's Holly Hudgens. I wanted to tell you a little bit about my story. Um, I was married for 14 years, and my husband passed away. I do have a history of alcohol and drugs, but I had kind of gotten it under control. Uh, I was raised in the church, but I kind of fell away from the Lord. When my husband died, um, my little girl and I were heartbroken, and um, I, I didn't handle it well. I had just moved here to be near my, my mother. She's 80 years old, and I wanted to help her, and I ended up not helping her. I ended up um, going to jail. I uh, wrecked a car. I saw my daughter go to jail. Um, over and over I kept going and, and, and I was angry. I, was, I think I might have been angry with the Lord. And um, I went to court and saw Judge Ohm and I asked him for help because I had heard that he did help people and I know he's a Christian man. And, and he sent me to Potter's Clay. Um, and then as I'm following Jesus and getting my relationship back with my, the Lord, my life is getting brighter and brighter. And I'm so grateful for Potter's Clay and for Pat Tackett, who took me in when I had no home because I lost my home and my dogs and my daughters with my mom now. And everything's coming back together thanks to Jesus Christ and all the people that are believers. Hello, my name is Farrah Pollock. And the moment I reside in Hot Springs, Arkansas at Potter's Clay, my background is somewhat like a lot of y'all's probably. I came from a very abusive family, insane actually. My father was a drug addict, and I was always told that I was going to follow in his footsteps and become, I was nothing, I would be a drug addict in prison, and so I kind of self-fulfilled that prophecy myself. And I started using drugs when I was 12 years old. I'm 56 now. I, uh, my whole life was centered in drugs. That's all I wanted because I was looking for something that I couldn't find. I, 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 look, I always wanted God. I was, grew up in the church, but I, I couldn't find. The God that I grew up with was not the God that I know now. I, was, I, I really came to hate God at a point in my life. I didn't believe in God. I didn't want to. Well, <laughs> that's all changed. I've used meth. I was an IV drug user. I smoked crack. I was a prostitute. I did whatever I could. I lied, I stole, I hurt everybody, and left a, a life of destruction. Everyone I touched, I destroyed, I destroyed their lives to the point of where I was nothing. I became homeless. I lived in the streets, seeking drugs, and one day I found myself in jail once again, and I didn't know what to do. All the other programs didn't work, so I'm like, okay, God, I'm going to try you. Let's see what happens. And this lady came in, and she was giving her testimony. She talked about she didn't want to be recovered, and she wanted to be delivered. And when she said that, it went all off of my spirit. I never heard about deliverance. And I said, yeah, that's what I want. And I was delivered. <laughs> and my life drastically changed. I was with the Lord for eight years. Five years into that, I started using drugs again. I don't know why, because I became very arrogant, prideful, judgmental. I'm judging the pastor. And I find myself back out in the streets. But I had known God, and I knew if I didn't let go, if I just held on, that he would not leave me out there. That if I didn't let go of him, he wouldn't let go of me. And he had a way out. And, and his way out was potter's clay. I come to Hot Springs, and they let me in. I didn't even know if that man, I didn't think that man was going to let me in. And I came to potter's clay because I wanted my life back with the Lord. The Using the drugs was irrelevant. I wanted, I wanted back with God. Because I had that separation and it was horrible. Well, <laughs> I am back with the Lord. And I am so highly favored. And I love Jesus more than anything. And that's what it's all about for me. You know, I, I thank Potter's Clay. And I'm so grateful to them. But I thank Jesus. Hey, everybody. Roxanne Potter here. We are at the Be Beautiful Conference in Hot Springs. And I just wanted to jump on here with Evangelist Candy and just share with you my book called Do It Afraid. Uh, this, I wrote this book when I went through cancer the first time. However, the devil thought he was going to attack me again. So there will be another book coming out called Do It Afraid again. I'm going to win this battle. I'm victorious, and I'm not going to quit. Anyway, I host these conferences all over, and they are called For Such a Time as This Women's Conferences. Check out the website on face or, or Facebook. It's Roxanne Potter Ministries, either on 
uh, the internet or Facebook and come find us. We'd love to have you. Conferences are free. Well, friends, once again, you've heard some wonderful testimonies of how Jesus has changed the lives of the guests that we had on this show. And I've got my friend Tammy Hearn here with me. She's my traveling assistant. We, we take this program and we travel all over different churches, rec uh, faith-based recovery homes, and uh, she travels with me and she is a blessing. Uh, I also get to preach, and, and sometimes the churches that are okay with the praise dancing, Tammy has a ministry, and what is your ministry name? Dancing for the King. Dancing for the King, and she does a beautiful praise dance. And, uh, but anyway, what we want to do is to encourage you to give your life to the Lord. So we're going to agree together that you're going to 100% commit your life to Jesus. Because, you see, that's where the joy, the peace and the purpose comes because we go through life looking for love in all the wrong places and faces. I'm a former stripper and a prostitute and had multiple addictions and even had a stripping business, male and female strippers doing bachelor and bachelorette parties. But when I was put into a crisis, I called my mama, and my mama led me to the Lord over the phone. And I'll tell you what, there's nothing like living for Jesus with your whole heart. So we want to encourage you to say this prayer. Now, the Bible says if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God has raised the Lord Jesus from the grave, you shall be saved. There's another verse, though, that says to confess and forsake. Repent means being willing to turn. So if you're willing to turn from your old lifestyle and you want to confess with your mouth a prayer with us, just do that right now. Say, Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart. Thank you for loving me, forgiving me, for dying on the cross for me. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Now, I have a little uh, encouragement that I always say, and I want Tammy to tell you. Talk to your Heavenly Father. Read the Word of God and find you a good local church that teaches the Word of God. That's right. Here's my theme scripture, Psalms 107.2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. And he's redeemed you now, so you go share your testimony. God bless you, and we'll see you next time. Well, friends, I have with me here today John Kirkley. Now, he is the pharmacy director for the state of Arkansas. Is the, that right, the John? pharmacy board director. Good, okay. So we, we do all the licensing and oversight of all the legal drug distribution for the state of Arkansas. So all the wow. pharmacies and pharmacists and the wholesalers that send drugs in the state to hospitals or clinics or, or pharmacies. Okay. You know, uh, as I told you, I'm making a documentary, and uh, I would like you to just maybe look into the camera Absolutely. and talk to our viewers about some important things you want them to know about drugs. Sure thing. You know, one thing that we face constantly is the fact that oftentimes people think that prescription drugs aren't risky because they're prescription drugs. They are prescribed by doctors and by nurses and by dentists, and they're dispensed to you by a pharmacist, oftentimes also wearing a white coat from a, a pharmacy, and it seems very legitimate. And what you've got to realize is that the prescription drugs that are for pain, for anxiety, for attention deficit disorder are very much like street drugs, and people don't really think of it this way. But oftentimes that pain medicine you're getting, it's very addictive. It works on the exact same receptors in your brain in the exact same manner that heroin would. And the drugs that you would use for ADD, it's very similar to methamphetamine. It's actually amphetamines in most cases. So people don't really seem to think that there is a clear line uh, of difference between the two. Your brain doesn't know that. Your brain will process prescription drugs that are for pain just like heroin. They, it will you know, process drugs that are for ADHD, oftentimes just like it was methamphetamine, because chemically they are very, very similar, and they have the same risk of addiction. Ha, ha, ha. I am meth. I destroy homes, tear families apart, take your children, and that's just the start. I'm more costly than diamonds, more costly than gold. The sorrow I bring is a sight to behold. If you ever need me, I'm easily found. I live all around you, in schools and in town. I live with the rich, I live with the poor, I live down the street, and ha <laughs> ha, maybe next. 
door. My power's awesome. Try me and you'll see. And if you do, you may never break free. Just try me once and I will let you go. But try me twice and I'll own your soul. When I possess you, you'll steal and you'll lie. You'll do what you have to just to get high. The crimes you'll commit for my narcotic charms will be worth the pleasure you'll feel in my arms. You'll lie to your mother. You'll steal from your dad. When you see the tears, you should feel sad. But you'll forget your morals and how you were raised. I'll be your conscience. I'll teach you my ways. I take kids from parents and parents from kids. I turn people from God and separate friends and make you say things that hurt them time and time again. I'll take everything from you, your looks and your pride. I'll be with you always, right by your side. You'll give up everything, your family, your home, your friends and your money. Then you'll be all alone. I'll take and take it till you have nothing to give. And when I'm finished with you, you'll be lucky to live. <laughs> if you try me, be warned, this is no game. If given the chance, I'll drive you insane. I'll ravish your body. I'll control your mind. I'll owe you completely. Your soul will be mine. <laughs> the nightmare. I'll give you when lying in bed, the voices you'll hear from inside your head, the sweats, the shakes, the visions you'll see, I want you to know, these are all gifts from me, but then it's too late and you'll know in your heart that you are mine and we shall not part. You'll regret that you tried me. They always do. But you came to me, not I to you. You knew this would happen. Many times you were told, but you challenged my power and chose to be bold. You could have said no and just walked away. If you could live that day over, now what would you say? I'll be your master. You will be my slave. I'll even go with you when you come to your grave. <gasps> now that you have met me, what will you do? Will you try me or not? It's all up to you. I can bring you more misery than words can tell. Come, take my hand, let me lead you to ha <laughs> ha.
Addiction Free Ministry presents powerful resources written by its CEO, Candy Rose. Her autobiography, Spirits of Seduction, proves Christ can transform any lifestyle from X rated to G rated. Candy Rose believes testimonies build faith, encouraging others they too can have that new life in Christ. Go to Amazon.com or their website, AddictionFreeMinistry.com, to receive these life changing resources for yourself or a loved one. There is help, there is hope. Hi, my name is Barbara Ferguson, and I have been blessed with being asked to be on Candy's board for her ministry, that addiction-free ministry. And throughout that time, I've had the opportunity to see what an amazing, awesome ministry it is. And I asked her for the opportunity to talk to you about becoming a partner of the ministry, because I've noticed that Candy is not one to ask for partners or to talk about the need. Every person knows someone probably very close to them that has an addiction, addiction of some kind. There's so many different forms of addiction. And we need partners. We need people that will agree to partner with us and and give so much a month. It can be as little as $10 a month, up to as much as you want, or it can be a one-time gift. Anything you can do would really help the ministry. Just to ask you, please, if you would prayerfully consider that, because I know the Lord would, will bless you like he's blessed me. Hi, this is Candy Rose, CEO of Addiction Free Ministry. Every day, countless lives are being destroyed by addiction. Precious people end up in jail, a hospital, divorce, and the grave. Not only do individuals suffer from the effects of addiction, but so do the children and parents. It's a ripple effect. Do you or a loved one want help? Go to our website to find referrals and resources. You will find help and hope. I'm Richie Willis, and this is my wife, Carly Willis. Uh, we both run homes in Hot Springs, Arkansas. We both come out of addictions and out of a long life of bondage of of drugs and alcohol and uh, we've been set free by the blood of Jesus and uh, God has radically taken over our lives and now we both have ministries she has a, a house for women and I have a house for two houses for men um, and they're faith-based houses and we just thank God for it hi my name is Jeremy Hudson I'm the program director at the father's house we're located in Donaldson Arkansas we're a six-month residential program that helps men and women with uh, addiction problems and other life controlling behaviors. You'll learn in our program how to not only work hard, but also through the disciplines of the Bible, you will learn how to follow God hard. I just encourage if you're struggling with any kind of addiction or you know someone uh, in, a, in your family or someone, just maybe one layer of, of connection of a person removed from you please proactively take the initiative to reach out to them and say, hey, I saw this program where, you know what, there's actually help, there's actually hope. We'll be happy to talk to you, happy to bring you in or talk to you about that loved one that needs to come in. The Harbor Home is really a house of miracles. It is located in a small church in central Arkansas, in Conway, Arkansas, and it's a faith-based program, anywhere from six months to one year, uh, residential for women coming out of drug and alcohol addiction. We have women of all ages that come to the Harbor Home and from all over the United States. And really an opportunity for you to come to realize your value and your worth. And uh, really to develop and cultivate a real relationship with Jesus Christ, which we believe is the answer for all addictive behaviors. Tell me how you came to know me Was it at some preacher's plea? Were you all bound up with worry When he came to set you free? Did it take you your whole life? the debt you owe But did you answer him the first time and relinquish all control I need to hear somebody testify I 
need to hear somebody say That you were lost and at the bottom And you could not find your way Just when life had lost all meaning And you wish that you could die Jesus came to you that day You invited him to stay I need to hear somebody testify Were you born to some good family Who expected you to stay Living right there in the middle Satan had already Picked out my grave.